While on a journey to study the Sun, NASA's Parker Solar Probe has captured an incredible new view of Venus. This probe has captured stunning views of Venus during its close flyby of the planet in July 2020. If you like our videos, then please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Gateway to Knowledge and look forward for the videos that would be waiting for you in the future. The mission, which launched in 2018, is intended to study the Sun and reveal some of its mysteries. Over the course of seven years, the probe will travel through the Sun's atmosphere and come closer to the surface of our star than any spacecraft before it. Venus is instrumental to the probe's success. Though Parker Solar Probe's focus is the Sun, Venus plays a critical role in the mission. The spacecraft whips by Venus a total of seven times over the course of its seven-year mission, using the gravity of Venus as it swings around the planet, called a gravity assist to help bend the probe's orbit and bring it closer and closer to the Sun. But along with the orbital dynamics these passes can also yield some unique and even unexpected views of the inner solar system. During the mission's third Venus gravity assist on July 11, 2020, the onboard Wide Field Imager for Parker Solar Probe, or WISPR, captured a striking image of the planet's night side from 7,693 miles away. This was the third Venus gravity assist for the Parker Solar Probe. When flying past Venus in July 2020, Parker Solar Probe's WISPR instrument detected a bright rim around the edge of the planet that may be light emitted by oxygen atoms high in the atmosphere that recombine into molecules in the night side. There is also a noticeably dark feature in the center of the image. It's known as Aphrodite Terra, which is the largest highland region on Venus. The reason it looks so dark in the image is because it's actually at a temperature that is 85 degrees Fahrenheit lower than the surrounding areas. Bright streaks in WISPR are typically caused by a combination of charged particles called cosmic rays, which are actually sunlight reflected by grains of space dust and particles of material expelled from the spacecraft structures after impact with those dust grains. The number of streaks varies along the orbit or when the spacecraft is traveling at different speeds, and scientists are still in discussion about the specific origins of the streaks here. The WISPR instrument was designed for the probe so it can gather images of the sun's corona or outer atmosphere in visible light. The imager can also capture the solar wind in action. The solar wind is a steady stream of energized particles that flow out from the sun. When turned to look at Venus, WISPR surprised the team's scientists. Instead of seeing clouds, the surface of Venus was revealed. Venus has an incredibly thick atmosphere that has proven difficult to peer through with instruments on other spacecraft in the past. There is another orbiter called Akatsuki, which is a Japanese orbiter that has been circling Venus since 2015. It enables scientists to study the weather patterns on Venus, look for lightning within the planet's thick clouds, and search for signs of active volcanoes. What WISPR was able to do in visible light is similar to what Akatsuki has captured of Venus in near-infrared wavelength. One of two things is happening. Either WISPR is actually sensitive to infrared light and is picking that up when it passes Venus, or the imager is looking through the atmosphere of Venus and right down to the surface. Either way, some exciting science opportunities await us. Parker Solar Probe just conducted its fourth flyby of Venus on February 20, passing 1,482 miles from the planet's surface, so the team planned another set of observations of the Venusian night side. That data should be received by the end of April, according to NASA. This flyby set Parker Solar Probe on course for its eighth and ninth close passes by the Sun, which will occur on April 29 and August 9. The scientists are really looking forward to these new images. If WISPR can sense the thermal emission from the surface of Venus and night glow at the limb of the planet, it can make valuable contributions to studies of the Venusian surface.